All right, guys. So, doing another comic review from uh, another book sent to me by my, by my good friend uh, Chris, aka the Mount Vernon Kid. Chris, thank you once again. And uh, we're going to be doing a review on Infinity Wars, not Infinity War, Infinity Wars. This was, uh, as you can imagine, this was an event that was meant to capitalize on Avengers: Infinity War that was coming out that year. So, yeah, this is done by Jerry Duggan with art by Mike Diodata. Uh, Mike, Diodato, Mike Diodato Jr. And, yeah. So for those who have forgotten this event, which I don't blame you, I forgot about this event too, Infinity Wars was basically an event where... Um, okay. I gotta start off by saying this event is a mess. I don't know... Like, I understand that, like, yeah, that money was the reason. Like, money was the big reason of doing this as a comic. And, you know... Jerry Duggan is a great writer. I think he's a very well accomplished writer. This was a little beyond him. This was a little beyond. I don't know if like it just you know, if he just was working on Guardians of the Galaxy and they said, "Hey, do this event and you have to use these 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 characters." And he's like, oh, "Okay." But yeah, you have to read the entirety of Jerry Duggan's run on Guardians of the Galaxy to understand this book because yeah, it just throws you in the middle of it. Um, of what this event is. So, what is this event? This event is... Oh, I'm trying my best to explain it. So, Gamora goes by the name Requiem. She's killed Thanos and wants to use the Infinity Gems to create uh, to get into Soul World to find the other piece of that soul inside that was lost inside Adam Warlock's Soul World, and then for whatever fucking reason she decides I'm just gonna make a new world in so in Soul World, and uh, everything's gonna be hunky dory. Th yes, this is the comic that we all know. Like the, what we know it best is that it made the Marvel amalgam stuff. I feel like that was kind of the draw. Was supposed to be the big draw. Was hey, we're remember what, back when Marvel and DC became a uh, you know made an amalgam universe. Let's do that again, but with only Marvel characters. Oi. So yeah, this was um, this was a slog to read because a lot happens and nothing happens at the same time. Because that's only just the start of the start of it. You also have Loki, who's teamed up with an archivist to find out like what's wrong with the universe. Um, that there's something wrong with the universe, specifically his story, and he's in it. Also, Adam Warlock is doing Adam Warlock things. That's the best way to describe Adam Warlock in general, I believe. So, this comic is like trying to do ten things at once, and all of it is kind of annoying. Um, this book is a mess of a book, because, yeah, we do feature, like, people who um, were using the Infinity Stones, like Turk, who did get the Mind Stone, that was a thing. And also, Turk, yeah, the informant from the Daredevil books. He's only here because he's popular. He was popular in that in, in those Marvel Netflix shows. Um, don't you just love this fake sense of synergy that these uh, that Marvel has? It gets really egregious sometimes. I swear to God. Um. Yeah. So. Um. This. <sighs> And yeah, it just becomes this wild goose chase of all these uh, of these characters. Although I will say it is kind of fun that we get a team made up of Kang, Miss Marvel, uh, Hulk, Scott Lang, Emma Frost, and Loki. I think that's kind of a fun team of characters you wouldn't expect together. It's also trying to be a Guardians book, a Loki book, a Avengers book. It's trying to be a lot of things, and it fails on every level of that. This isn't a bad event. I'm not saying that at all. There's actually some fun stuff here, but it's very clear Duggan did not have, like, a clear thought process for it. Also, I will say that this event did give us some cool stuff in the in later on, with Donnie, in, in terms of Guardians of the Galaxy-wise, because this gives us not only, you know, Gar Donnie Cates' Guardians of the Galaxy, which I really would love to have in complete collection, um, but it also has Al Ewing's, um... Guardians of the Galaxy run. So this really actually benefited Guardians more than anything else. Um, so I do like that. Ugh, back hurt. Um, yeah, if you're wondering if there's anything they do with the uh, Amalgam stuff, no. that was. I think we feel like that was one of the draws. Also, 
Holy fucking shit. I, do, uh, I really hate that they call the Infinity Gems the Infinity Stones. Yeah. That's... Yeah, they just call them the Infinity Stones. After all... And, uh, and you know why? Because that's what they were called in the movie. So we gotta call them the movie. They do reference that... Uh, like, they do make a haphazard reason as to why they call them the Infinity Stones. Because the original gems were destroyed during Secret Wars. And... What happened was that the mar that the mar that the stones came back into reality and um they were kind of raw and damaged so that ex like that's their half-assed reason to to call them the infinity stones really um yeah the artwork by mike diodato jr is amazing it's just nothing short of of really of damn good artwork um i mean Dude knows how to draw an event. Like, yeah, dude knows how to draw an event. So, the, I can't fault him for that. This comic is just all over the place, and I really feel. Uh, and also, like, there's some stuff in here, like, is it like that? I feel like they just didn't that Duggan didn't know what to do with because there's stuff with Loki that happens, and that what they do with Loki is just kind of like alright and that peters off it's not a bad event I'm trying like there are some good moments in here some good character moments this is also where you've probably seen this this image of Moon Knight and Spider-Man talking where Moon Knight's like man I picked a bad time to space out what's going on and Spider-Man goes Gamora's taking over the family business and Moon Knight goes who's Gamora and Spider-Man replies with just start punching whoever I start punching yeah, so this is from that. Um, yeah. It's just kind of... It's just like a... 3 out of 5. It's a there event. It's a very there... Uh, it's it's there, and it went. Yeah. So, I mean, it's not a bad event. It's not a good event. It's a forgettable event, really. So, yeah. Um, you guys tell me in the comments below. Uh, if you've read Infinity Wars, let me know what you guys thought of it. And once again, Chris, thank you once again for this book, as well as the others, and uh, many more to come. But other than that, I hope you all enjoyed this. I'm Mr. Multiverse. I'll see you next time. Multiverse.